Hey everyone, welcome to Health and Fitness Simplified. This is John Rennie. Wishing everyone a happy 2021. I hope this year brings in prosperity and happiness to everyone. Today's topic for discussion, coming to our point of discussion for today. Let's talk about fibers. Now, basically fibers are something which are really important in our daily diet. Fibers are basically classified into soluble and insoluble fibers. Now, what are soluble fibers? As I always promise, I keep my videos very simple and easy to understand. So let's talk about soluble fibers. Soluble fibers are as simple as something that can dissolve in water or in your bloodstream. Insoluble fibers are something that does not dissolve in water similarly in your bloodstream now basically fibers are something which bypasses your digestive system which means they don't get digested and pass through the gut now there are different advantages of soluble and insoluble fibers both these types of fibers are equally important for the body now soluble fibers basically due to their property of being able to dissolve in your bloodstream they create something like a gel which improves digestion. It reduces the blood sugar level and cholesterol. Now reducing blood sugar level translates into the reduction of type two diabetes. Now let's talk about insoluble fibers. Insoluble fibers basically do not dissolve in your bloodstream or do not dissolve in water as I said earlier. Now basically they attract water into your stool which aids in helping the bowel health. Now, insoluble fibers are very important for people who have an issue with the bowel health, who have problems with constipation, etc. It also supports insulin sensitivity, which again is a factor that contributes into weight loss or maintaining your body weight, etc. Now, both these fibers, as I said, in combination are very important for your body. Now, they together control your body weight. They help control hypertension. They prevent hemorrhoids. Um, they reduce the risk of colon cancer, reduce the risk of breast cancer. Now, very important topic. I mean, or very important question is how much of fiber to consume. Now, if you are someone who does not consume fiber, you can't just start off consuming huge amounts of fiber in a day your body will not be able to take it you will have gastric problems majorly so how do you how much of fiber to use now basically men and women have different doses or different limits of grams of fibers which you can use in a day if we talk about men who are 50 and under 50 you can consume 38 grams of fiber in a day now I will come to the types of fibers or which kind of food source would provide you soluble and insoluble fiber. Now let's talk about how much of fiber to consume. So men who are 50 and under can have 38 grams of fiber per day. Women who are 50 and under can have 25 grams of fiber per day. Now men who are above 50 uh, should consume 30 grams of fiber in a day. And women, same, above 50, should consume only 21 grams of fiber in a day. Now, which food provides you soluble fiber? Soluble fibers can be found in oats. Now, when we talk about oats, please do not consume quick oats. Quick oats is, it's basically, a, it's, it's a useless product. It's not something which is really healthy and it is not high in fiber. Always go for old fashioned oats or whole oats. They provide you quality fiber. Now you, as I said, you can find um, soluble source from oats, peas, beans, various type of apples, citrus fruits, carrots, barley, etc. And insoluble fibers can be found from whole wheat, wheat barn, nuts, cauliflower, potatoes, be it sweet potatoes or normal potatoes. Now always keep in mind to not go in for canned beans, like for example, because all canned food will have much lesser fiber in comparison to the actual food source. 
Now, supplementation of fiber. I mean, supplementation of fiber is not bad, but honestly, I would recommend you to get fiber from the natural food source because it's easily available. So the better option would be to include fiber from real food and supplementation is not really necessary. So I hope this information was very simple to understand and it was useful. So this is John Rennie signing off. Masalama. Peace out.